Okay, for part two would be edge pairing. Now, edge pairing is where you pair each edge like that. Well, not like that, but you pair each edge like that long. You'll find out in a little bit. But, um, before I start, edge pairing is probably the hardest part of the solve. At least it is for me, and it takes, I think, the most time. Um, and you should know that this is hard for me to explain. I don't know why, it just is. So if it's hard for you to understand, it probably will be, but if it's not, it's a miracle. Don't be mad at me, because I'm trying my best. Anyway, for edge pairing, what you want to do is... Well, of course, I already told you, pair up the edges. So, let's start out with one case you can have. Now, there's tons of cases you can have, and some of them are intuitive. So, this is intuitive, too, but there's some algorithms I can teach you to help you. Now, okay, for this case where we have two lined up like this, you have to find the other blue-orange, which in this case, it's right here. You gotta get it so that you, you can turn and they line up like that. That's basically what you want to do. But now, doing this, you'll mess up your center. So you gotta put this on the top layer like that and then fix your center so they won't get all messed up later. I got lucky and I got one solved. I wasn't expecting that, but whatever. I can take all the help I can get. Um, let's see. Now, if you have one like this where two are already lined up, then you gotta find, in this case, the green and white, which would be right here. Wait, no. Um, it would be somewhere. It's right here. So you gotta make it so that you can just turn them like that and they'll match. Um, once again, sorry for the bad quality, I guess. It's not that good, but... And then just turn them up on the top. Now, um... Usually what I do is I get two edges paired on the top and then I get two edges paired on the bottom so it's kind of even. But it doesn't really matter, I guess. But anyway, now here's a case you'll run into a lot. Where you have, like two that are kind of um not matching but they're the same colors like this now that means you got to find the other blue and orange which in this case would be way over here and then you got to match them so if you have that then do this algorithm it is d star no two d star hold on a second Okay, sorry for that, but it is 2D star. Uh, hold on again, sorry. 2D star R F I U R I F 2D star. Now, this will basically solve this edge pair, and then what you want to do is get on the top layer, like that. Actually, I'll put it on the bottom because I already have three on the top. That'll solve that one. Now, let's see. Here's a simple case where I have these two matching. I can just turn this one over here to match that. And I'm just going to turn it to the top layer. Oh, something I forgot to mention. Uh, I can't believe I forgot to mention. But when you're turning them here, when you put it on the top layer, you want to replace it with an unsolved layer. Like, if you replace it with one that's already solved, you're not solving anything like that. You want to replace it with an unsolved layer, and this, well, unsolved pair, and this pair is unsolved. So I'm just going to replace it with that, and then bring it back. And I messed up. And then bring it back like that. And that's basically how you do it without messing, um pairs that you already paired up because that just gets to be a big pain trust me let's see i think i explained most of the cases the rest is basically just intuitive so i'll just solve the rest of this on here now these two red and greens that means i have to find the other red and green which would be you'll probably find it before i do right here so then it's right here so now i have to now sometimes you have to put solved pair here 
but just keep it there for now and you can put it back later and then just turn it there so they match. I'll replace it with one on the bottom because not very many are sold. Then you just bring back the centers and you'll have one here. Remember, and remember, place it with an unsolved pair. So you don't have to do that again because that gets really annoying. Now these blue and oranges I can just turn like this to connect them. And then I have to replace it with the unsolved layer. And fix the centers, of course. Um, here's actually another case I didn't explain. Well, yeah, let me just find it. Here's another case I didn't explain where you have two reds here, and, well, two red and yellows here, and one here. Basically, for this case, what you want to do is just like kind of do the same thing the algorithm I showed you before but it's a little different do a 2d star r f i u r i f 2d star well actually d star now you have it connected but the centers aren't fixed yet of course so what you want to do now is replace it with the unsolved layer on the top and then just bring it back and fix the centers like that I know this is really confusing because this is really hard to explain. You probably don't even know how hard this is for me to explain. But, anyway, I need one more for the layer. Let's see. This one I can just turn here so they match. Okay, now once you have on the top and bottom layer all have um, paired edges on them, now it gets a little trickier. Not that much, but a little. So now what you want to do is basically, um, let me find one, that's good. Hold on a second, I'm just going to fix this. Okay. Um, yeah. Now basically what you want to do is... Keep pairing them, but you don't want to, like, if you notice, you can't, there's no unsolved layers on the top. So, like, if I have, um, the case I showed you before, where you can just do, this case, this case is common. If you have it where you have one here and two here, you need to do the D star, R, F, I, U, R, I, F, D star. That'll solve that one. That actually solved. No, it didn't. Now, that's the common one, but there's different ones you can run into. I guess, but I just can't find any. Hold on. Okay, here's one. Now, here's the one I was looking for. Like, you can connect them. Well, you can connect them, but there's no unsolved layers. So... You, have, you run into kind of a slight problem, I guess you could say. What you gotta do is do the algorithm I showed you before. The D star R F I yeah, U R I F D star. That's like a really easy algorithm that comes in handy. Then you kind of get them switched around so you can do it. But now it's opposite to what it needs to be. So I don't know the opposite algorithm, but just do the opposite of what you did. It's pretty easy, but just do it. I'm running out of time here, so I gotta move along here. Um, now for the last two, it's a little different. Basically, sometimes you run into parity, and sometimes you don't. Now, for part three in those videos, I'll show you the parity and um, how to solve it, just like a 3x3 three three after you do the parity. Thank you for watching. Bye.